morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is February 26th. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. S&P is pretty much unchanged. NASDAQ slightly green. Russell and the Dow slightly red. Gold and silver lower. Notes and bonds pretty close to unchanged. 10-year yield slightly lower. Natty gas up 6%. Grains a little bit mixed. Euro and the pound slightly green, Bitcoin up a half percent, VIX 13.94. So I posted in the uh, positions and updates my zero DTE strategies for this morning, which will be my Monday AM ratio iron condor. Also do my NDX 10 wide that I just put on my trade plan. The one DTE iron condor. Uh, a little bit later this morning, it doesn't look like it's going to qualify now. The uh, the 9.45 a.m. one, it's, it needs a more of a VIX spike, but <clears throat> we'll see. Then I'll be doing Good. my re-entries. Morning, everyone. Morning, Steve. Morning, morning. Saw the S&P futures down about 11 or 12 at one point, but back to even that was last night <clears throat> well, who was that someone posted an article about it being uh 15 straight weeks or something what's that green? monday being oh. an update yeah yep also i've got to uh i've got let's see one two couple Double calendars from Friday. I've got to take off this morning. My three five, my three six. All my calendars looking like they're in the green at this point. Three seconds. There's the bell. Expected move right at 19 for the day. Expected move in NDX about ninety three point six.
My bot should start firing here. Let's see what comes in first. Looks like NDX is coming in first. Coming in hot and heavy. Give me a minute and I'll kind of recap exactly what's coming in here. So first of all, my NDX trade. Got the 18070 calls, nine or uh, 17 nine ten puts for my NDX. It's got a max profit of 862, max loss of 1138. Pretty normal. My Monday AM ratio. Got in on the 5105 calls, 5080 puts, so 25 wide. Then on my re entries. On my one-to-one, -one, I got in on the 90 puts. Yeah, 5105 calls, 5090 puts. And on my 3-2 re-entry, I got in on the 80 puts, 5105 calls. And I've also got my one DTE iron condor, which is on the... 5115 calls and 5075 puts. Yeah, Vegas Michelle, I, I do not. It's just purely 25 delta, 10 wide every day. Price stays within the expected move. Most likely it'll win. If it doesn't, most likely it'll lose. All right, let's see my calendars here. I got a 3.5 and a 3.6 I need to take off. 3.5 looks like it's at about 9, 10% profit. All right, filled on my three five. Close my three six as well. By the way, if you're new here, I've just I've got some these are non-zero DTE related. These are just my 
some double calendars that I put on Friday that I need to take off. All right, just posted my 3-6 in the calendar channel. I've got a 4-7 on that's up about 8%. I've got a 5-7 on that's up about 4 or 5%. Got a 6-7 on that's up about 5%. So I will leave those. I've also got a... Four or five double calendar or double diagonal, which is this one here. It's up about 800, 900 bucks. So let's see, I got into that one 240. Close it about a buck fifty. So it's about thirty seven percent. And my profit target on that one is Thirty percent, yeah. So I'm right there on my profit target. I'm going to put in an order of a buck thirty five, see if that hits. Uh, Thiago, my NDX got, I got filled at 431. Nice talent. Got to, got to start somewhere, my friend. Nice, Mauro. Oh, yeah, and I got to put on a new 3-4 DTE this morning. So let me do that real quick. And I'll come back and focus on zero DTE.
All right, so my three, four. Russell and the Dow pushing up a little bit, but S&P and NASDAQ not really going anywhere at the moment. All right, just posted my new 3-4 DTE double calendar in the calendar channel. Why'd you, uh, why'd you skip the AM ratio, Marl? Mondays have been a little brutal lately. Gotcha. A tiny bit of decay coming in. VIX still hovering a little under 14. VIX futures down 1%. VXX down over 1%. If VXX gets down to about, if it gets down under 13, 13 and a half bucks. Start taking some of my VXX trade off. On my corn premium, I need to roll some calls down here. Yeah. Oh, getting filled on my. Partial fill on my four five. There it is. All right, so I closed out that one for about 35%. All right, so to recap what I've got going on in my zero DTE. In this account, I've got my NDX trade, currently a little red. AM ratio, currently up about 5.5%. NDX 
in this one, which is my challenge portfolio. Just got my re-entries in my 1DTE. See, those are all a little bit green. Got my 3-2, my 1-1, and then my 1DTE. NDX was the 18070 calls and the 17910 puts. 10 and then 10 wide wings. Uh yeah, Eli, that looks right. Um you can I always put the Profit trigger for trailing stop at zero. That just means as soon as it goes my way, it'll stop trailing, but five cents is not much difference. So that's a $9 trailing stop. I would just make sure that you also have a fixed stop in there. So I always set, set a stop. And then if I do a trailing stop, I enable the trailing stop as well. So for example, you may do a $9 stop you know do stop loss type on that first column dollar loss nine bucks and then you've got the trailing stop enabled and do zero and nine bucks that'd be correct s p and nasdaq just went red yeah spx breaking down And I like, I liked, I mean, the, um, you know, doing the other stop in addition to the trailing stop is not required, but I just think it gives you a little bit of a double, double safety. Okay. Something's going quirky with the trailing stop. You've got your other one in there as well, because they're, they're two totally separate things. Yeah, so I, w I hadn't looked at futures yet. I hadn't taken any futures trade this morning, so let me scan through these real quick. I did work on that, uh, my futures price action course this weekend a little bit. Yeah, Russell looking strong down, or the S&P and NASDAQ looking weaker. All right, I'm not going to do any futures trades this morning, but I'm watching the NASDAQ or the S&P. They start coming. If, they, if, if we start getting weak again, I might get short those. One of those. That's a lot of mission today. Uh, 
Oh, that's why. I was going to say Walmart's down 66%, but I forgot they have a three to one split going on. Yeah, saw that. Bitcoin stocks up, Riot, Coinbase. Tesla's up 3%, you mentioned. SPX is in a range of about 10 points so far. So it isn't moving too much. I tried to dip below Friday's close and then bounce back up. Let's see if it holds here. Walgreen out, Amazon in to the Dow. All right. Yeah, I saw that. Didn't something else just jump, just get into the Dow for the first time? I know I saw that about Amazon this morning. Russell pushing up. NVIDIA flat. Taking a pause off its meteoric rise. I thought pretty interesting. I'll have to find it. I'll post it if I can find it. But I was reading something and it was showing. Um, it was basically overlaying a chart of Oracle. Um, over, uh, It was overlaying a chart of Oracle's performance versus NVIDIA's. So Oracle's back in the uh, late 90s, 2000 during the internet boom. And, um, you know, when Oracle was kind of the picks and shovels that, you know, everything for the building out the networks and the infrastructure for, for the internet and, uh, which is, you know, kind of similar right now with NVIDIA, they're the kind of the picks and shovels and, and the, uh, everything building out the, all the chips for the, all the AI stuff, um, it was an interesting article, interesting comparison. I thought. Yeah, it's P SPX back in the green, didn't stay red long. I'm going to give uh, the S&P here another one or two bars. And if it still stays in that 10-point range it's been in, I'll probably get in on my first iron condor. Really hasn't had a push either way. I mean, it's only been about 10 points. So... Looking at the different sectors, looks like biotech, metals. Oh, that's right. Housing data, yeah. A little bit red, everything else green. I'll wait to have to see what that see what that housing data does to the markets. Thanks, Naughty Dog. Reminded me on that one. The Dow really isn't going anywhere, just sitting there.
Uh, yeah, Dayal, you could do a two four. There's not. There's really, really any of the calendar spreads on my sheet are are viable this week because there's. I mean, there's little scheduled news events, but nothing, nothing that's gonna would prevent me from trading. We've got tomorrow durable goods pre market. Wednesday, preliminary GDP pre-market. Thursday, pre-market core PCE price index and unemployment claims. Friday, ISM manufacturing, PMI, University of Michigan consumer sentiment. So nothing nothing big. Um, my plan today is I just did a 3-4. I'm going to do a 1-2 and a 1-3 and then maybe a 2-3. But a 2-4 is fine too. I just kind of chose... The ones I did, I didn't, I didn't want to overload up, but I definitely wanted to get some exposure on. Oh, yeah, Uber was the one I was thinking of, Dave S. Thanks. Uber's been on a nice run. Well, SPX bounce coming back to towards unchanged. Russell's still pushing. All right, I'm going to roll some calls down in my corn position. All right, just posted that in the option selling channel. No real effect yet based on the housing data.
Chad, I got to go on mute here for a second. Yep. I'm still still watching the S&P futures. I haven't really seen much reaction on new home sales for January. Six hundred sixty-one thousand new homes sold on an annual basis. What was the numbers, which I think is what they expected, pretty much. So, actual six hundred sixty-one million forecast, six hundred eighty-four million. So, yeah, okay, pretty close. Really, yeah. So my trades not not much data decay yet, but no. staying slightly green. <clears throat> now waiting to see if S and P kind of breaks through lows here, or is it going to break through highs, or is it just going to chop? By the way, I know we got some new people on here. So real quick, looking at my screen here, go to uh, to get started. Best thing to do is go to the Zero DTE course channel. Scroll up a little bit. There is a new member Zero DTE checklist. I just recent last week I just posted in the Trade Plans channel uh, my strategies and trade and my plan for trading Zero DTE going forward from now through March. So you can check that out. And then during these live streams, you know, once you make sure you go through the content, you know, but uh, these live streams, we've got a lot of, a lot of time for answering questions. So if you guys need help filling in the gaps. We can certainly do that here. And then uh, Chad is on the stream as well. If you go to the zero DTE uh, trade plans channel, you will also see his trade plan. Uh, so he's got a little bit different methodology, different style than I do. And you can see some other uh, more experienced members have posted their trade plans in there as well. Well, it doesn't look like there's been too much reaction from those numbers. You know, Vegas, Michelle, I was doing it manually at first, and then I switched over to having the bot do it just because what I've, I've actually found the bot gets better fill prices than I do. Um, from a perspective of they, it, 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 I mean, I don't actually with NDX, who knows? I mean, you never know. I don't think you really know where that thing's trading until you get filled, but uh, at least with SPX, uh, and the the reason I say I think it gets better fills than me is because I get a ton of partial fills with um, with bots, which means that it's just it's just hitting the hitting right at where it's trading right. And then um, you know you know it, you ever go into a trade and you put your order in and you get filled instantly and you're like oh maybe I could have maybe I got could have got filled a little better. Well. If you get a partial fill, you know that you're at the right price, right? Because it's just, it filled some of them and then it fills the rest. Uh, and I, I get more partial fills with the bots than I do myself. So I, th I think I get better fills with the bots. But like I said, NDX, who knows? That thing's a little squirrely. Look and see if I can 
get in my first AM iron condor here. Let's see. Talon, yeah, maybe a paper trading issue. Do you are you uh in your upper left hand corner on toss where I'm pointing? Is it show real time data? You have to if you're paper trading, you have to request real time data. If you're trading on delayed data, then you know, 15 minutes is a big difference in seeing where price is trading. I'm looking at the 5105s, 5080s. Just uh, go to the support chat here and um, ask them to enable real time on your paper trading account. Sorry, Chad, go ahead. I'm looking at the 5105s, 5080s. 50 points wide. All right, starting to get some decay coming in now. My AM ratio is up about All right, so the NASDAQ and the SPX dipped into the red just barely. Now they're bouncing. Build at 665 on that one. By the way, for trade steward users, so um, I think I'm going to try to do just a live session around trade steward. I'll just kind of do an overview and then we can kind of open it up just as a open discussion. So anybody using trade steward or interested in learning more, we we I'll, I'll post about that um, when we're going to do it. I, we may do it as early as tomorrow after after the market closes which I know is kind of short notice, but um, I got to do it when I, when I can. Um, I'm actually waiting on uh, to hear back from Tim Weiss. Cause he was the one that really was kind of pushing to, to put together kind of a, a live session. So he's probably still sleeping. He's in Hawaii. So once I hear back from him, Uh, Tradier with futures is coming. I don't know when. Tradier and Trade Steward is also coming, and that should be very soon. Tradier futures is. I, I I spoke to the guy Trey over at Tradier that's running the futures. Um, it's just, they have it 
it's just not available on a, um, there's a couple platforms that are working on kind of integrating it. Tradehawk will be one that will have it eventually. And Orion will be another one that has it, but I'm not really interested in being the guinea pig again. So I'm going to let that all play out. I, I mean, I like trading futures on trade of eight anyway, so I'm not in a big rush to, I like to see them get all the kinks ironed out before I jump in. Uh, there's a couple rules. Uh, one of them is if you go to the, uh, Go to the interactive brokers channel. Yeah, there's uh well, there's trade automated toolbox, which is TAT. People call it TAT. Or I posted another one tomorrow in the in the interactive brokers channel above. Uh trademade.io is another one. Yeah, but Neil, that's a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna delete that because that's. I don't want people being confused. That's actually just a. Uh, a group that has a a charting. Platform that they're doing kind of a beta rollout with. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. And rules, I don't know anything about um, either of those. I mean, I've there's a lot of people using TAT, but I know there's a lot of issues with it as well. And then I don't know anything about trade made. I mean, the the biggest issue that I've heard rules and, and Mauro looked into it a lot, so he may have some more points is just they don't have the filters, right? So like the filters that we like to use with option Omega and different things is still a very manual process, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, Talon. Sorry, I thought you had a funded toss account. Really, no plan to add the filters either, huh? That's interesting. All right, all. I'm going to jump off here. I've got a bunch of other stuff I got to get done um, for Power Hour. We'll be back streaming live for Power Hour. Chad, anything else before we head out? No. Hoping for a good Monday. All right, all. Take care. Have a good day. Chat with you soon.